some of the relative speeds between satellites that are crisscrossing each other is like 15 times the speed of a bullet. Here's a, here's a short illustration on how the so-called space junk is formed. Take a look. You ever had the Wi-Fi go out mid-Netflix? You go from chilling to having an existential crisis. You start pacing like, do I still exist? Now imagine that, but permanent. Because one dumb little space fender bender could end the entire internet. Yup, your memes? Gone. Your crypto? Gone. Your cloud photos? Gone. That one embarrassing text you sent in 2012? Still there, because the universe hates you. This isn't sci-fi, this is the real danger of orbital debris. A.K.A. The reason Elon Musk might accidentally delete Google. The sky is a junkyard. We've got over 10,000 active satellites and another 20,000 dead ones floating around up there. You know what that means? Space looks like a teenager's bedroom after finals week. There's communication satellites, military satellites, spy satellites, weather satellites, and one Tesla Roadster that's basically orbiting like a midlife crisis. These things move at 17,000 miles per hour. That's 27 times faster than your grandma trying to grab a Black Friday deal, and we keep launching more. It's like adding traffic to a highway with no lanes, no lights, and no brakes. We're just praying everyone signals. Scientists are warning us that space is full. Meanwhile, Elon's like, bro, let's launch 30,000 more. It'll be fine. That's like saying, this bathtub's overflowing. Quick, get more water. What on earth is happening? Well, look, I'm going to try and do a good job of this. This might be the last time we speak, guys, but uh, it is a remarkable event. You've got these two satellites, so we've got a dead NASA telescope. The Kessler syndrome? Space dominoes of doom? You ever knock over a line of dominoes? Now imagine that, except the dominoes are billion-dollar satellites that explode into shrapnel. That's Kessler syndrome. One crash causes debris that hits other satellites which make more debris until the entire orbit turns into a spinning blender of death and bad decisions. Each piece of junk can travel faster than a bullet. Even a tiny bolt could tear through a space station like it's wet paper. Basically, one dumb collision could start the space junk chain reaction apocalypse. The internet would go dark, GPS would go down, stock markets would collapse, and some influencer would still be like, Hey guys, just vibing through the apocalypse, hashtag no filter. SpaceX is leveraging its experience in building rockets and spacecraft, aiming to launch the world's most advanced broadband internet system. One bad day in orbit. So let's say two satellites bump into each other. Boom. We get a debris storm of a million tiny metal shards flying at supersonic speed. And guess what? That junk doesn't burn up fast. It stays up there, ruining everything for decades. And it's all it takes, one collision, to break the network that runs your bank, your GPS, your phone, your planes, your everything. Imagine a pilot mid-flight like, ladies and gentlemen, GPS is down, but good news. I've got Google Maps offline. The world without internet. No Wi-Fi, no Netflix, no TikTok, no more memes, no more reels, no more arguing with strangers about pineapple on pizza. You'd actually have to talk to people, in person, with your mouth. Teenagers would look at books like ancient relics. Wait, this is words printed on dead trees? The world economy would freeze. Banks can't process payments, planes can't navigate, and your mom can't send you WhatsApp chain messages. The last functioning tech on Earth would be carrier pigeons. And even they'd start charging subscription fees. The chaos after the crash. The internet blackout would hit within hours. Imagine waking up to no Google. You'd forget how to make pancakes. Nobody would know how to spell definitely. Office workers would show up like zombies. Where's the cloud? It's gone, buddy. We deleted heaven the world would go into panic mode. Governments would lose communications, markets would collapse, people would start trading toilet paper again. Today in global news, Bitcoin is now worth half a potato. 
Meanwhile, Elon Musk would be on Mars tweeting from a rotary phone. The billionaire space drama? Of course, the space billionaires would turn this into a soap opera. Bezos. It was Elon's fault. Elon. It was the Russians. Russia. We don't even have satellites anymore. NASA's like that tired teacher at the back of the classroom. I said no more rockets. You know it's bad when SpaceX, China, and the US are all arguing on X. Which, by the way, doesn't even work because it's hosted on a dead satellite. This would be the first global event where everyone agrees. Yeah, we messed up. And still does nothing. The 48-hour blackout. In simulations, NASA says if major communication satellites go down, the world would lose the internet for up to 48 hours. You think that's short? Try telling that to someone addicted to TikTok. 48 hours without Wi-Fi would turn people into animals. At hour one, mild confusion. Hour six, people start shaking. Hour 12, families start talking. Hour 24, someone invents fire again. Hour 36, people start writing letters. Hour 48, we discover world peace right before the internet comes back and ruins it again. Aliens are definitely watching this. You know aliens are watching Earth like a reality show. They're in orbit eating cosmic popcorn like, yo, these humans use satellites for cat videos and now they're crying because they lost their GPS. One alien's like, we gave them math and they made memes. The other's like, they invented rockets and used them for internet lag fixes. Even aliens have a group chat called Humans Be Dumb. The reset button. Eventually, humanity would have to rebuild the internet from scratch. No backups, no archives, no influencers. It would be peace on Earth for about 10 minutes. Then someone would say, we should make a new app. And boom, SpaceX launches again. Some startup will call it Skynet 2.0 and say, don't worry, this time it's safe. And we'll all believe them. Because we never learn. The moral of the story... So yeah, one crash, one tiny oopsie moment in orbit, and we go from Spotify to spinning vinyls again. The internet isn't in the cloud, it's in space. And that means the entire world is one bad game of bumper cars away from total blackout. So next time your Wi-Fi drops, don't curse the router. Don't throw your phone. Just look up and pray nobody sneezes near a satellite. This is Orbital Secrets. Subscribe before the next tweet travels by pigeon.